got a request from Abby and she has requested Susan from the Chronicles of Narnia. So we're gonna get started with her head and we are gonna do uh, just a rounded face. Now her head, as you can see, has a beautiful jawline. So this is fine, but we are going to make the, the jawline down here a little more of an L. So we can erase this bottom part here. Man, I should make that a little softer. And that's her neck. Okay, so she's looking to the side, so she'd have the, the side look. And that's her, her uh, um, the crossbars. So we have her eye, which is right here. And she's looking at us. So she has that side look. We're gonna be putting some hair over it. Do, 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 do. Okay, and then right here is your other eye. You can make a lash coming out if you'd like. And she's got an eyebrow. And one over here. And her nose is gonna go right on this line. Boop. And then her, let's get rid of that cross bar. There'll be more Narnia characters to come because their family has each requested. So we've got Peter that I'm going to do and the lion. Okay, so that's her, her little nose. Actually, that nose is better than that nose. So what I did was I just went like this and then stop and then I make like a, her nostril. And for her mouth, make like a smile like this and she's got actually very lovely lips in there okay so for her hair we're gonna cut a little bit off of here and then we're gonna erase this back of this circle okay we're gonna put some hair in there so her hair is, has a little swipe over and it's gonna cut right through her eye Zoop. this is her hair coming in dink, dink, dink. and then you can add different layers of hair here. Whoop. And before we do the rest of her hair, I'm gonna do her body. Okay, so down here we've got one of her collar. This is the other side of the collar. And I'm just going to sketch in where her body is, okay? Just so we know, there's her waist here. And then she's gonna be wearing a long dress coming down. Now it is cut off right here, halfway through, but we'll get down there it is her belt. And then she's got her shirt that's going down, but we're gonna start with that. And, oh, we can actually finish off her hair. So her hair is gonna come down on this side. What do I know about this? So um, Susan loves trees. We're gonna put some her beautiful hair in here. And especially she loves the Narnia trees because they're really big. She's always loved trees and then up here. A little hair here, and then you can put in the more strands of hairs, whatever you want to do. That's not a good one. Uh, let's, let's see. Okay, now what we're going to do is her arm. So we're going to be making it like we can see this is like. Um, Part of her arm and we're going to make the other part of the arm so it's connecting and then we have the hand here okay so that's one arm and the other arm we only can see a piece of it so just like a piece of it and then her hands gonna go right there because it's kind of behind everything okay but we'll finish off this arm so she's got um, her shirt it's almost like a chain armor top so I also read that somewhere that um, Susan was a little jealous of her sister, um, Lucy, because Lucy had so much faith in Narnia and um, Aslan the lion. And, um, she, and Susan was the last person to actually see the lion. I think it frustrated her because she wanted to believe, but sometimes as you get older, you lose 
your um, sense of belief and and faith and um, just how things are good. As you get older, you start thinking things aren't as good. So it's always best to have a childlike mentality when that in that regard. So this is like her arm, is an armband, and then she's got a wristband. Okay, so she has a, like it's her strap, kind of holding everything together. One goes right over her shoulder, like this, and the other one kind of is connected to it. It's going to go behind her arm and keep it going, and it's going to connect to her waistband. So this is her waistband right here. Oh, I made that a little big. That's okay. I'll make it a little smaller. Okay. And I couldn't really tell in the pictures, but she's got like a symbol for the buckle right here. It's in there. Oh my gosh. Now we're going to do the um, the bow. So it's coming straight out on both sides. And then the ends, it swoops around. So do the same thing on this side. And, oh, let's do her hand right here. So she's kind of holding, it's a little tricky. She's holding the bow. That's like her thumb because her hands turn the opposite way and we've got the bow the back of the bow right there and it's gonna go right through here so we want it to be going connecting right here you can make it double if you want and then keep it going behind there if you want to use a ruler that's probably a good idea because mine looks a little you know you can use a ruler it looks a little loppy so Yes, let's use a ruler. Oh man, we are so far off. It's not even funny, come on. All right, so we're gonna start here, bring it down. Ah, oh, much better. Nice and straight, love it. Okay, so we're gonna kind of give her a little bit more of a figure here, so. I'm gonna erase this right here. And she's got this like almost like a um, corset behind here. And I colored this all in black. So this is all gonna be colored in black. All the way here. Okay. Now we are going to do the bottom of her chained armor down here. And oh, her string, it's gonna go from here. We're gonna go straight behind it all the way to the edge same thing over here and edge so she could pull them back the bow and arrow oh she's got this is how she's holding her arrows this is it's almost like a you know what I'm about you got me huh I don't know the name of it like kind of like a hollowed out horn okay so we have some arrows back here three and then I'm gonna put the feathers in here. Well, that's kind of a little loppy. Okay, I've got the arrows. And then at the bottom, we're gonna put just a woohoo! And um, kind of pleats in here. Put more if you want. I'm just putting her toes are just sticking out. I'm just gonna color those in black, okay? So. We are going to sharpie it and I'm going to show you how I colored it. So let's get a sharpie. Now I'm going to Sharpie in with the big Sharpie and then outline. Go 
going to a race. Okay, we got peach for the skin, coloring it all in peachy peachy. And now we're going to get the, look at my grit. It's so teeny. My caramba. I can't even barely hold it. Yeah. Need to get a new one. Okay, so this is the under part. And I'm gonna go around her hairline, around her eyes. A little bit on her nose. And on her arms. Do I know anything else? Uh, archery is one of Susan's favorite things to do. She's very good at it. And she has been scared plenty of times and she is not afraid to admit it. So, all right, you go girl. All right, so now we're gonna take our pink. Let's give her a bit of blush. And her cheeks and her nose and her lips. I'll put a little red in there too, but any more of this? Nope. Bye bye. Now we are going to do uh, the horn. It's going to be yellow. You can pick any yellow you want. And then I'm going to take the tan and I'm going to go around to make it look more goldeny. Ooh. My daughter was in the musical Narnia. Was it a musical or a play? I think it was a musical, Narnia. She played, because she was only 10, she played the boy, Edmund. It was pretty awesome. Now I'm getting red. I'm gonna use the bottom of the, the little feathers on the arrows. There's a little red right there. And her hair is going to be brown and black. So underneath here, you wanna make darker. And around the edge, you can go darker. Actually, it's one of my, well, I love every role that she's in. She likes that kind of stuff. She's older now. Actually, today is her birthday. <gasps> Happy birthday. Today's my daughter's birthday, yes. She's in college and I called to wish her happy birthday and she's stressed out. <gasps> oh my gosh, she sounded like she was gonna cry. It made me so sad because she's, she has all these projects due and um, finals and all this stuff. And she's like, Mom, I have, she already um, told her friends she'd be doing all this stuff with them. We were going to go somewhere for the weekend and she's stressing out because she has so many things that are due and projects and studying. And I said, just cancel. And she's like, Mom, I can't. So she's going to be stressed out all weekend long. I mean, it's her birthday. Her 21st birthday and she is doesn't sound like she's having fun so that makes me very sad um, so now I'm going to color her leather pieces here and her belt this is the only thing that's brown oh also her I think this is a lighter brown but that's okay if you want to make these lighter you can if you also want to come in and kind of give her hair a little bit of golden loveliness. Let's see what it would look like if I just put a little bit of tan in her hair. Because I don't like being able to see the white. Ah, doesn't that look lovely? So we're just warming it up. And then we'll add a little black to it too. But yeah, I like that. So I'm adding tan to the hair to warm it up. Yeah, I think that looks so much better. And then you can come in with a black. And if you want, give it some dark areas. And in the movie, they, um, what's it called? Oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's those white fluffy English treats that they have to eat. Oh man, I'm gonna remember this after I do the video. If you can remember what it's called, you can always put it in there. What are those called? Oh, I can't remember. But they went and bought some like these coconut powdery frosted desserts and she got to eat those. And she said, mom, they were so delicious. So she enjoyed that, okay. 
This is gray. It's like her armor. In no, that's not what they're called. English Delights? Del English Delights? Is that the name of them? This is coming to my brain. There's a whole song on it and how she liked English Delights. It was really fun. Okay. And her voice teacher's husband played the lion. He was a big brawny guy. And I painted his face like a lion. It was actually really good. I was impressed. Okay, last but not least. Oh, this is going to be brown and then this is going to be burgundy. So, anyways, if you want to give it a little background, you can. And I hope it turned out. I hope you like it, Abby. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.